I'm going to give it a little description, and here the components of it are. Okay, this is the motor that I'm going to be testing. It's a sewing machine motor, a stepper motor, about one horsepower, speed control, and controller in the back. The components that uh, make up the dyno are pretty simple. All right, first is the Arduino Nano, which is, this is the processor, and hooks up with a USB cable to my laptop. Here's a Hall effect sensor right here. It's hooked up next to the motor. These two gizmos with the red dots on it are two magnets that spin around. And this sensor just switches on and off each time these magnets go by. So really it's just, it's timing how fast this goes around. It doesn't come out with a direct uh, RPM reading. You have to calculate that. All right, the next component, or really the last component, is the load sensor, the load cell. This, this load cell is rated at five kilograms. It comes with its own little amplifier board and four wires. It's secured at one end, and this is like a beam that you're measuring the bending on it. And that is calculated into a, a force. The last component here is the prony brake for the, uh, for the motor. And I'll show you how that hooks up in a minute. But uh, here we are with a complete setup. Okay, so I've already talked about the Hall effect sensor, which use that to get the uh, RPM. Here's the load sensor, load cell, and when it, there's a piece attached to it, when it presses down, when I press down, this load cell bends, uh, the signal goes through the amplifier and then over to the Arduino. Rather. Let me put the pony, pony brake on, show how that works. It just, it's like a clamp on the pulley. And I tighten it up to adjust the, how hard it is gripping, how much resistance it puts on the pulley. And then you can see where it pushes against the load cell as the thing rotates. Let me turn this on just a little bit. And this reaction here in pounds along with the radius from the center line here to the point of contact, you calculate how many pound feet of torque you're getting. So the pound feet of torque plus the RPM, you can take and figure out in the distance, you figure out the torque, and then you can uh, calculate that directly to the, uh, to the horsepower. The cost of this thing, okay. This Hall effect sensor, I got two of these for about $12. Uh, they come with uh, washers and magnets. The Nano, I actually got this uh, at an Amazon bin store with return stuff and happened to see three of these. Got three of them for five bucks. I think even if you buy them outright, they're like 20 or 30 dollars maybe. The, uh, the load cell, I think I got two of those for 12 bucks. And... Uh, and that's about it. And then had to do the wiring. The way I've got them wired up, okay, the, uh, the load cell has four wires. And this is the, this is Adreno Nano, Adreno Nano that I've got hooked up. So I've got four wires coming in from the load cell. And then I have from the hall sensor, 
I've got three wires coming in. So basically on this, I have a five volt and a ground, and that goes to each of those sensors, each of those two sensors. Then the black wire is a sensor that goes to the, uh, uh, is the input from the hall sensor, which just really is a pulse that goes on and off, on and off, so twice per revolution. The, uh, the purple and the blue wire are the, uh, the data signal and clock signal from the little amplifier board from the load sensor. And that's it for the hardware. So pretty simple and inexpensive. All right, now that I've seen the hardware, here's the software. Okay, this is the output that we get. This is an Excel program with a lot of macros in the background running to do communication between the Arduino and the laptop. The Arduino, then to the controllers and to the laptop. Uh, this is an output that we get. Uh, let's look at the graph first. Now I added these lines into the program to produce this graph. You can see on the right hand side that's the value in torque and foot pounds and that is the the blue dots. So this is the torque line here. Along the bottom is RPM from 0 to 3,500. Torque goes up to about 2.5 foot-pounds. And then here is the horsepower in red on this scale. So in this particular run for this electric motor, the torque went up to 2 foot-pounds and the horsepower went all the way up to a little over you know, 1.2 horsepower. And that was the motor pushing, given about all it would give. Uh, the graphs always don't come out this pretty, but uh, I removed a few extraneous uh, data points in there at the end. Here the programs are. Okay, so we've got this macro here. And the basics of it were by this guy, Net Devil. He's on the Adreno forum. And uh, PLX DAQ, the data acquisition, uh, was originally from the uh, Parallax stamp program, oh, golly, probably like 10 or 15 years ago. And he's modified it for, and this communicates between the Arduino and the Excel program. Now, a lot of this is pre-written. It's uh, open source, so you can do whatever you want to with it. As the dyno runs, it picks up the RPM and the force. It also does the timing and the, uh, you know the timer and counter. And so this run really only had had eight data, data points on it. And you can see them over here. And now I'm going to show you the Arduino program in the background. Let's see here. Let me get that up. Okay. So this is the Arduino program. And uh, everything in light gray is just a comment. And... So you can see the darker ones are the actual code in the program. So that's it. That's all there is to this program. And within this, I take and do the calculations on uh, uh, from the Hall sensor, taking the count and converting that to an RPM by just doing some simple math. I average a few 
points uh, from the Hall sensor so that I get a, a, a better RPM curve. And then down here we've got there's a program built into the background for the load sensor. So this picks it up, convert that to a torque, and then convert that to a horsepower. And then it's all printed out. So that's about all there is to it. I'm going to do a quick dyno run now, show you how easy this is. I've got the uh, USB cable from the Arduino, plug that into my laptop. All right. Now you see the red light came on, it's running. Program's already loaded. But let me show you how the program loads. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call up the program. And let's see, up here in the top left, in this arrow, uploads a program to the Arduino. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right. So compiling the sketch, it says down at the bottom, uploading. You only have to do this once, it stays permanently in the uh, Arduino until you overwrite it. Okay, so it said finish uploading, so that's done. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect. The Ar Arduino is already plugged in. I'm gonna do a connect. All right, now that erases all the old data. Now it's ready to go. I've got this set the torque arm set about where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and here's the throttle. Go ahead and do a quick run. All right, now you can see it continues building with the data points after we finish. Okay, now I don't particularly like that one. There's a, a glitch here at the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and Disconnect, and then I'm going to connect again. Clear the old data out. All right, and now let's go ahead and we'll give another run here. Okay, that looks pretty clean. And very similar to the other run that I had, but uh, now you've got all this, this data set over here. If you wanted to uh, manipulate the data, convert this to kilowatts, you could convert the horsepower to kilowatts and put a kilowatt per uh, column in. But uh, that is how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect now. Green button. 